Hello everyone and welcome back to City Skylines. In today's episode we will be building the production area and the logistics area for the farming industry with warehouses and multiple train stations where both work equally. And please consider subscribing as well. I'm trying to reach to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible. Now let's get started. You might have noticed that the traffic is pretty chock of block on the highway which is not ideal. So I am boosting my population to 36,000 to get a new tile, to get an access to the other side of the highway and to get more land for the farming industry area as well because we are running out. So let's quickly do that and start building. Okay to start things off I am redesigning the storage area to get more green silos to support the production of flour and animal products as well. Now I, um, the plan here is to get two storage area within the storage area because one will be used for flower production and the other one can be used for the animal production. This will separate the traffic along the main highway and it will start to make sense in a bit. Okay so as you can see the flour mill uses crops and the animal pasture uses crops as well to make meat product. To provide with a consistent supply of crops, the lower grain silos will supply crops to the animal pastures whereas the new storage area that I am building right now will provide crops to the flour mills. To place the flour mills, I am building separate areas within the production area to segregate traffic by taking lane mathematics into consideration and I will not link the animal pasture grain silos to the flour mill grain silos to, which will help create a distinct traffic flow. Now that we've figured out how the traffic separates, it's time to merge all four areas of traffic into one road and then take them to the logistics area where the goods will either be stored in the warehouses or will be exported via trains. The logistics center is across the bypass road and the road that takes crops to the animal pasture. I don't like building tunnels so I will submerge this road and will build required rows of it which will give it a cool look as well. The merge coming from area 4 road is going to be a bit tricky but I'm going to use the same tactic and go underneath and go above building bridges. To adjust with the slopes I am moving the buildings up and down and then building the bridges above and then I'll also make sure that the lanes are properly set up and I'll slowly bottleneck towards uh, the logistics center because there will be another merge coming from the main road. Now as you can see the road goes down from 4 lanes to 3 lanes and the merge that comes from the main road is for the vehicles that will be exporting the raw materials and the warehouses will be storing flour which will come before the train station. Getting the train connection was the most difficult part. The nearest connection was underground. I hate building underground because we can't see what's happening and I don't like how the tunnels go straight down so I usually build a whole same height as the tunnel would be and then I'll build a tunnel, use a movie mod to drag it around and I'll make it the same height as the tunnel so the entrance will look straight and then I'll slowly slope down and I think it looks very cool. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. So we want two train stations, one will service the trucks that are exporting raw materials and flour directly whereas the other will export flour coming from the warehouses. To make sure that the trucks actually used both of the stations, uh, I will separate the collector road that was coming in from the production area into two parts so one part will go into warehouses and the other will directly go to a train station. Connecting these roads and these trains was one of the most challenging part of the build but the end result turned out to be quite good I'm quite happy with that. Uh, the roads go underneath, the bridges go above, there's train tracks, there's roads, there's slopes, there's bridges. <laughs> it, it looked very cool like I like uh, when the rows go above and uh, underneath each other I find that very interesting let me know what you think of it in the comments below 
So the connection to the train station that will go through the warehouses will loop around, uh, go into some grid patterns so that I can accommodate a few uh, warehouses here and there just so I can increase my storing capacity. And then uh, we need to figure out how to get all of this traffic into the main road. One thing I'd like to mention is that you see how the collector road separates. I have done that because the traffic merging over there will not go to the warehouses as they will be exporting raw materials and not flow. So to, by twisting the connection it prevents lane switches. To help the trucks exit the train station I will build a 4 lane bridge where the traffic from the second train station will merge as well. And to connect to the main road, I will spiral my way down to the main road and I will also create a small bottleneck on the spiral so that the number of lane matches with the number of lanes of the main road. And then to connect, to reconnect the diverge from the main road, I will make it go underneath the bridges and then connect to the collector road. Now I will put in some lane connectors, some yield signs here and there and then check if the lanes uh, make sense. Ok the build of the road infrastructure is complete. Now I will put in some decorations, some fences, some trees, some footpaths here and there, uh, some workers barracks, some maintenance buildings. There is a big traffic surge right now but it will slowly die down. Okay, so looking at the statistics, we are profiting which is very good. Now, it seems like we are ex uh, extracting a lot of crops for 444 tons. and But it, that is fine because we will be using that in the animal husbandry. And I'll set these warehouses to empty mode so that we export, uh, we export more. And then uh, what I'm impressed is that all of those flour mills they are running, they are not running out of crops, which is fantastic. In the next episode, I'll fix my highway traffic of my city and thank you for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and watch these videos. Have a good day. Bye bye.